Heart failure is a complex and debilitating condition affecting over 60 million people globally. It occurs when the heart cannot pump enough blood and oxygen to meet the body's needs due to structural or functional impairment. As the population ages and survival from cardiac events improves, the prevalence of heart failure continues to increase and has become an urgent public health priority. Comprehensive management is essential to relieve symptoms, improve quality of life, prevent hospitalizations, and reduce mortality for those afflicted. Ongoing research aims to enhance our understanding of heart failure pathogenesis and refine therapeutic approaches. Current medical therapies for heart failure primarily focus on modulating neurohormonal pathways to reduce fluid retention and improve cardiac function. Medications like ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, and aldosterone antagonists display robust efficacy in mitigating symptoms and mortality risk. However, adherence remains suboptimal and prognosis is still substantially worse than the general population. Expanding options for neurohormonal modulation, such as novel neprilysin inhibitors, further improve outcomes but side effects remain limiting. Device-based approaches like cardiac resynchronization CRT, and implantable cardioverter defibrillators ICD, additionally decrease mortality in select patient groups with heart failure. Yet procedural risks persist, along with the need for meticulous follow-up to minimize adverse device effects. Left ventricular assist devices LVAD, can support end-stage heart failure as a bridge to transplant, but clotting and stroke risk must be judiciously weighed. Looking ahead, heart failure management will likely involve more personalized medicine and polytherapy guided by advanced phenotyping. Natriuretic peptide biomarker screening already facilitates early diagnosis and titration of therapies. Ongoing pharmacogenomics research seeks to identify genetic determinants of medication efficacy and tolerability to enhance individualized treatment. Stem cell technology and cardiac regeneration show promise to repair damaged myocardium, but await definitive large-scale studies. Further innovation in the engineering of durable, biocompatible LVAD designs could make destination therapy more feasible for advanced heart failure. Telemonitoring systems incorporating wearables and implantable hemodynamic monitors also offer means to detect early decompensation and prevent avoidable hospital admissions. However, pharmacologic and device-based treatments can only partly ameliorate heart failure symptoms once significant cardiac remodeling has occurred. A key priority going forward is primordial and primary prevention to reduce heart failure incidence. Widespread application of prevention initiatives focused on smoking cessation, blood pressure control, cholesterol management, and obesity reduction could substantially lower heart failure prevalence and improve global health. Beyond medications and technology, multidisciplinary heart failure programs deliver demonstrated benefits. Cardiac rehabilitation improves exercise tolerance and reduces rehospitalization. Palliative services enhance quality of life. Patient education empowers self-care. Coordinated interventions by nurses, advanced practice providers, physicians, pharmacists, and nutritionists optimize outcomes. Systems-based approaches will likely assume increasing importance in heart failure care models. In summary, current strategies provide proven morbidity and mortality benefits for heart failure patients across the severity spectrum. But much work remains to be done. Continued research, innovation and improved access are needed to better prevent and treat heart failure. Emerging personalized medicine, regenerative biologics, advanced device engineering, telemonitoring systems, global prevention initiatives, and integrated care models represent promising directions which may transform heart failure outcomes in the future. Urgent investment and scientific inquiry are warranted to turn the tide against this immense threat to global health.